Hi everyone, in this video series I'm going to be covering my Genshin characters, my builds and how I use them in team comps uh, for every character I own. This goes for 4 stars and 5 stars. Currently I own all the 4 stars that are available in Genshin and so I thought this is a great time to go over how I've built them. If this series helps you, please leave a like and I'm sure if you want to find any other characters that may pique your interest, please take a look on my channel and thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> Okie dokie, in this video I wanted to demonstrate Toma. This isn't, again, going to be the best build, the best guide, how to build him, whatever. This is just how I've built him, so if this helps you, please leave a like. But he's a quite a unique character in Genshin Impact. I wouldn't say he's really the one well, even a great support character. He's kind of just a niche, and if you like him, build him. That's kind of... Zhang Ling, we've got other sort of support power units like Bennett. He kind of gets a little bit outclassed, but he does do uh, some things well, and it's kind of off field pyro damage or reaction damage. So I just wanted to demonstrate how I build him here. Um, you can build him a number of different ways. I actually just had a look on some guides, and this isn't actually really that close to how anyone else has built him, but this is just spare stuff I've had on my account and what I did. So uh, I was typically a Yan Fei main. And I ended up getting a load of HP pieces from uh, when I eventually farmed this Crimson Witch Domain. And that's kind of an end game thing. If you've got him very much at the beginning of the game, this domain's very, very difficult. Uh, you'd be better off possibly going for something like a Noblesse set, I think has been recommended. Uh, sometimes, say, like a two piece Noblesse, a two piece, uh, say, Crimson Witch here with the pyro damage might be, what, might be a good sort of sacrifice. Uh, and then, what's the other one we've got is the. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, Emblem of Seven Fate, uh, I think, has also been recommended for him, like Energy Recharge. But he's an HP scaling character, so that's how I've built him. You'll see here, none of my artifacts are max level. Uh, so we've got some nice rolls, actually, on his flower there. Uh, but again, it's only level 12, and you could argue I should rank that up more. He's a support for me, so I've only really got his flower at 17. These will come up as I have spare resources, but being a support character, I, I've never really overly invested. Uh, the Sands, we've got another HP piece. Got a very high defense down it, it's not too good, but whatever. Uh, got a HP piece again for his main piece. Uh, that's got a lovely 29% crit damage on it, actually. That's quite nice there. And then we've just got a HP crown. Again, quite nice some sub quite nice rolls there energy recharge got some 10 percent crit damage if only you could get these substats on like a crit rate piece for this for this set but that's how it goes uh the weapons as we just saw I, i've been using the katane i think again you can use kind of anything like the vivonius lance uh even the star glitter is like a stat stick i imagine would be quite good if you've got a spare dragon's bane i think that's meant to be one of his best best weapons i did see someone say <laughs> raiden's weapon but god that's, that's i don't know who'd be doing that uh, details, there's nothing to be got, 24% crit rate, 100% crit damage, bit of energy recharge, I could say probably do have a bit more energy recharge than that. Now, with these Inazuma weapons that you can make yourself, they're a little bit controversial, uh, and it's kind of the issue that he has with his kit as well, but it, it's fine, I'm, I'm kind of used to it, but you'll usually use your skill. And then you'll use your ultimate. In doing so, it takes away a little bit of energy away when you use your skill. And it gives you a delay of about a second or two. You're usually best just to do like one or two normal attacks. And even with this build, he has enough energy that he will basically get his ult immediately again. But it's just annoying if you, if you do that rotation wrong, essentially. You could argue you should do your ult and then your skill. Uh, but when I've used like Sayu and other characters like that that had their own Inazuma sword for a little while, I just didn't really like this style of if you do use your skill before your ultimate and you want your ultimate as well, you kind of have to wait a few seconds for that energy to pop up again and then you have your ultimate again. It's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Constellations, Caesar, we haven't got any constellations. It'd be nice, actually. Um, I'm surprised. I, w I went a long time and not actually getting the character, but... The team I'm going to show is pretty much the only team I have them in. We've got three six six on the talents, nothing too special there. Uh, and the team I'm going to use, we're going to do some mobs after this, but I want to do this boss for Wanderer anyway, and I thought, well, I'm going to probably use not this exact team, but this team should be okay here. And if not, well, there'll be a cut. <laughs> no, we'll be somewhere else, but it should be fine. Uh, but this is the team 
Uh, I call it Kuho Shigari. Uh, I believe that means backflip in Japanese. I, I just literally Googled all that. And I just assume, because basically every character here is doing a backflip one way or another. Uh, Kaching also fits this bill of doing a backflip. Uh, I believe there might be another character as well. I have messed this team around. It, you can put take out Heiser, you can put a Yaka. I have tried a bit of Wander, it's not so good. Fortunately, this is actually also one of the weird... This is kind of the team I built for Heizo and Yoimiya uh, uh, and kind of Kuki. They're all kind of so niche that I had a really big think one day and I, I played a round of teams and this was just a team that was really fun. Might not be meta, but this is one of my main pyro teams that if I do use in the game now, uh, Heizo is not properly built, etc. But you, you'll see how this is. And, and again, with like these demonstrations, I, I won't try and lean into Toma too much. I'll just use them as I use them. Uh, because if I try and demonstrate the character too much or focus on the character too much, you, you won't really get an idea. Um, you know, it, it gives a false impression. But if you, I'll try and basically use them as I do here. We've already got his ult ready and waiting. Uh, I haven't done this boss in a long time, but it should be. Should be pretty straightforward. It's mainly a Yoimiya. So like there, we did our skill and he lost his ultimate for a bit. We can come back, use it. And then I have a choice of either going in with Haizo or Yoimiya. I'm going to go with Yoimiya. You can argue we're not even with the pyro distance. And we need our Kuki going. Look at these reactions. Aizo's a lot of fun. I didn't actually build him until after I got Wanderer, just because he was on the kind of the back list, but... Oh, I probably shouldn't have changed the Kuki, though. Yeah, I can understand this is kind of premium with Yoimir, but I think from what I've seen, there's other there's other teams that are suitable. This isn't a team I use a lot. I'm gonna have to shoot him down. It's a nice team. I like it. We'll go and do some. We'll go and do some mobs now. But I wanted to do this boss anyway, so I thought I'd throw this in because this this team can do stuff like this no problem. Yeah, been good. No, we didn't. Pretty standard. Okay, let's try to do my. I think it's a bit late to do my usual one I do on these demonstrations, but I'll do one I kind of used before, and we can just go like over here. And there's a good list of samurai in this in this area. I'll just demonstrate it on. Uh, and I could give some different team comps, but I, if I thought about it, but I don't, I don't use them in that. So it, this, this whole series has just been like what I use and how I've built them, what works for me, not necessarily the meta. Got some samurai over here. Let's get down to business. Check this out. And if you like highs or have highs and haven't ever been built and you have little, some of these characters, who could you change them join me? Oh, I'm not too sure. Possibly Bennett or someone like that. But I, I kind of like this team because it's it's like a... Uh, kind of similar to some, some of my other teams, how I built my Yoimiya. She's kind of a support slash sub DPS. She's not really a DPS, even though she can be. Uh, it's just not how I built her. 
Let's focus on this one. You can see I should really show my Heizo build. That will be in a different video. Because ironically, this will probably be the same team for his video. I haven't really got any others, but I can show some... For him instead, I can show some different team comps. Watch this one. My Kuki's got an EM build, so any any sort of contact with either of them is going to be generating a, a reaction, which is pretty powerful. Right, we'll clear these two down, these two mobs down here, and I'll call it there. So again, if this helped you, please leave a like. Helps the old channel out. Check this out. Now, some of my other support videos follow this. It's going to be kind of similar to this because these aren't characters I've heavily focused on, but it's just how I use them, as I said. So we've actually got his ult. I oh, okay, we got some space to. I quite actually like using his ult buffs with Heizo here. I think this is this is kind of the best, probably one of the best reactions for him, just for kind of watch his show. There, you, you've got swirls, you've got. Electro from Kuki, and you've got the Pyro from Toma coming out, so it lets Heizo really just go to town. And this build isn't even great for him. It's it's a failed Wanderer's set. I've I've farmed that domain a lot for Wanderer, and I've had no good pieces. There we go. So this is the best better showcase of what this team's about right here. And then Heizo's a little bit down. So you just finish off and clean up with Yoimir here. Very, very easy. Um, I say, this is, this is, I only have a few teams to say Yoimir. This is my only Toma team I use. If you've got these units, try it out. I don't know who you could replace Yoimir with. One of your favorites, I'd suggest. I mean, you could probably put some like a Yaku into it. Um, not necessarily another Pyro. I mean, gosh, even thinking someone like Lisa might even work if she's built. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.